Um, cool. All right, we'll just leave it there. I don't know what this video was. Uh, so why do we disagree? Uh, the normal initial, a, 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 a machine's initial reason would be different information. The actual initial reason is that we learned different answers. And then how did we learn different answers? Compounding of different interactions uh, between same max mechanisms. Okay, and so, oh, and these different learned answers, we also, also have to put, they're not different. They just have different words. You mean diff words. Okay, there we go. That's my answer to why people disagree. Um, it's because they have different learned responses, basically. Uh, and then they're diff the, the reason that my mistake is different from your mistake is just because of the compounding because, you know, it's just chance, you know, this is going to play a role with this, which is going to play a role with this. And then, of course, you're going to have different, uh, some different results. Uh, and so uh, there we go. There we go. So I guess fuck the diagram and all that. That's why we uh, we don't disagree is my first response. And um, we are wrong. We are wrong about things because of our different mechanisms. And sometimes we are wrong in different ways because of a different compounding of our. Sorry, no, we are wrong in a. We are all wrong because of our bad mechanisms, and sometimes we are wrong in different ways because of different compounding, uh, different interactions of the same mechanisms. There you go. Okay. Hello. So I'm in Toulouse uh, at this critical thinking conference, and uh, this is the third one they've done, and the third one I've been to with them. And I was... Uh, so here's the thing about these conferences. Oh shit, I want to just make this really simple, really quick, and just explain what I had explained to this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna do that first, and then uh, and then afterwards we can talk about the conference. Uh, so let's just do this for a few minutes. So um, people act like it's a big mystery why we disagree. Actually, they don't. Sometimes they have a really good answer, a really shit answer, uh, but that sounds really good to them. Uh, so, uh, fact of the matter is, this world doesn't need you to exist. Uh, you can interpret that two ways. What I meant was, this, in, uh, for it to exist, it does not need you. Uh, that means that, uh, well, this vehicle, yes, uh, it would need humans or some, in, some intelligent species. Uh, but that tree, uh, maybe that was planted. Okay, but this, the ground, oh, okay, no, that was humans as well. The light, the building, the stop sign. Okay, literally everything that I see may have been put here by humans, uh, but, but, but that tree's parent or grandparent or whatever. Okay, the point is, is that, oh, I hate this world. Oh, it's all human. All right. I mean, yeah, there's not another intelligent species to build things, but what's so bad about dirt? So bad about where trees were. Okay, so this is our world, okay? It doesn't need you to exist. Uh, it existed before you. You might destroy it, but um, if you don't, it'll continue to exist without you. Um, world, mind, all right. It's very simple what I'm going to explain, by the way. Um, and it answers the question why we disagree. So let's first talk about your terrible answers. Okay, no, I'll just tell you the real answer first. So um, the real answer is that uh, we interpret, we, we have different interpretations of different things, sort of. Now I have to explain your answer. So your answer is, that we have inter different interpretations. Um, in fact, so, okay, so if, all right, so basically here's the thing. World, mind, okay? Uh, world is a thing, it is real, and then the mind is, let's say, reasonable. It's not, but let's pretend that it is for a, a moment, because that's what your answer is based on. Uh, so we have your, so mind one, which is reasonable, and we also have mine two. Okay, so mine two at the top there. 
that sees the world differently from this, let's say, okay? All right, so our explanation for this, in order to maintain that uh, I am reasonable, uh, I might say, so oh, I'm struggling with this because there are a few different ways that people resolve the cognitive dissonance, and actually there are a couple different cognitive dissonances, I think. So one cognitive dissonance is uh, world is real. I uh, know the world. He says that he knows the world. So, how, they, they, okay, that's the cognitive dissonance. Okay. So, all right. And actually, basically, you can you sometimes the metaphor that you use is literally a point of view. Uh, so, oh, of course, I see the world differently because I see it from here and you see it from here. We have different points of view. So, of course, we disagree. That is not that is not what's happening. Um, but yeah, I, I, I get why you would think that. And, and then graphically, it does work. Well, look, points of view are different. Um, another way that you can resolve the cognitive dissonance is to say the world, there's actually not one world. He has a truth. And that, that is the truth for him, and then I have my truth. We do that often with uh, different religion or things that follow from religion. Um, I remember one friend telling me, hey, that's my opinion on gay marriage. You're entitled to your opinion. That's my opinion. Neither of us is wrong. Uh, no, 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 no. One of us is wrong because one of us thinks that in this world, there are these straight people that are born automatically straight, and they're going, what would make life spicier? Uh, and then, and then everybody else just stays with their with their default. And these people, these 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 gay people, they're like, oh, oh yeah, um, oh I, I I you know this gay man is like I love women. Women are so sexy. Of course, it's the natural default state, but I just really, no, not even I want to. I want women. I'm straight, but I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't even go any farther than that. So anyway. Uh, I mean, she doesn't even go as far as that, so so I'm not going to go farther uh, to try to justify. But um, so so yes, yeah, so we have this world. Oh fuck! I was just excited. I explained to them so quickly. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay. So option one, we say that we disagree because of different points of view. Um, that can explain some disagreement sometimes, but it's going to be less than like 1%. Uh, well, it also depends on what kind of disagreement, but I would say overall, with the disagreements we're really talking about, we're talking about 1%. It's not like you're looking to, at the Bible from over there and I'm looking at it from over here. Like someone read it to you, uh, when you were a kid and no one read it to me. And so I, like, it can't be true. For, I don't know. Okay. So... Differing points of view, 1%. And, it, and it'll often be, if we were all reasonable and intelligent, not possibly reasonable, but if we were all intelligent, then uh, that would account for a lot more of our disagreement. Uh, because that is one of the only things that should account for the beginning of a disagreement. Points of view should never account for why you continue to disagree, though. Uh, and so for continuing to disagree, we're going to head and go at and put that at 0%. Um, uh, but for an initial disagreement, of course. So what would we do if we were talking about that tree out there? Or, uh, okay, we're talking about who's sitting in the driver's seat right now. I have the point of view that I have now. Uh, and I say no one's sitting in the driver's seat. There's someone standing by that red car. They say there's someone in the driver's seat. I'm going to go, holy shit, Neo, why didn't you do anything? And we're going to stop disagreeing. <laughs> uh, so, yes, uh, for an initial, uh, for why we initially have different ideas, some of the times it's because of points of view, not most of the time, um, but that's because we're not intelligent. And we also, because we don't understand this page. So, you know what? It's okay if this takes 10 minutes. Two, uh, no truth. Okay. So, oh uh, no, we're all right. So why, why do we disagree? Because we all have our different truths. I mean, what's, what, you know, what do you want to talk about? Uh, so that's, um, the no truth thing is 0% always. Uh, I mean, we don't ever say 0%, but 0.5. Actually, but literally, like, 
even if I express skepticism there, if I say that it's not 0% true that there is no truth, meaning uh, it is 100% true that there is a single objective truth. Um, if I say instead that it is 99%, that I'm 99% confident that I would put 99% that it that there is an objective truth, then what have I just done? Have I not just proved that there is an objective truth? I'm saying that I am 99% sure that the thing that I believe is the same thing as the objective truth, which is, I believe there is an objective truth, and the objective truth is there is an objective truth. And I'm saying that I am 99% sure that what I'm saying and what the truth would be saying, that it exists, are the same uh, thing. 99%. And that room that I'm leaving for doubt, isn't that me saying that, oh, maybe this thing that I'm saying is not the same as the single objective truth? And if you accepted that, didn't you need to accept that there is an objective truth? Did that make sense? Was that correct? I might have gotten confused with the negations. There is no truth. You claim there is no truth. You claim that it is true that there is no truth. She's not like anybody who's ever disagreed with me about there being truth. Aren't they saying, no, the objective truth is this thing that I'm saying, which is that there is no objective truth besides this one objective truth. And what makes that the only one? I mean, I guess it could be because it's something semantic. So it is possible. Uh, but uh, and so anyway, so I leave a room for doubt uh, in between what I'm saying and the objective truth. And if you accept that room for doubt. <laughs> If you're not saying, oh, no, 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 what do you mean? Don't doubt anything. Whatever you think, that's the truth. I just have a different truth. Then, uh, then you've accepted that there is an objective truth, and the objective truth is that there is an objective truth. Three. That's it. So when you talked about your, we interpret things differently, maybe you weren't talking about physically, your points of view, uh, but you were saying, like, just, like, I don't know, I see things differently but in some for some reason that legitimizes the disagreement um so here's so this video is responding oh we're going over time this video is responding to anybody who thinks that one it's normal that we disagree so much we should start with disagreements but disagreement shouldn't continue it shouldn't be like oh let's agree disagree of course it's natural for us to disagree because uh we have different points of view we interpret things differently and there is no objective truth <laughs> Um, so, so why not to respond to those people? Uh, these people here at the conference, um, they, they mostly believe in objective truth. Some of them are these like pseudo intellectuals that are interested in, no, I shouldn't be mean. They're interested in these things, but maybe, maybe don't have the chops to realize some of the fundamental things. And so they're like, oh, I love learning about critical thinking and stuff. Oh yeah. So is there an objective truth? Uh, or, or do you believe this? Well, yeah, if you're telling me. No, but do you believe it or not? Uh, I, I can't answer. The answer then is, I don't believe it. I am abstaining from believing in it. So anyway, just some fundamental things that uh, sometimes uh, smart people don't quite get. Um, and uh, so at this conference, I want to respond to people who, although they do think there's an objective truth typically and although uh they are interested in having it um because they don't quite understand the mind they still think uh that disagreement comes from these things or maybe for them three uh and this is a lot of people actually do this smart or not Sorry, so I'm assuming, I'm talking about, I'm, I, this whole video has been for people who are, um, who like try to legitimize or justify um, disagreement and have this like plurality idea. Uh, and so it's like these, the smart people that don't really get it, basically. <laughs> now, the dumb people and the smart people who maybe get it, uh, they like this one. Oh, they're wrong. Oh, yeah. Mind, mind two is just wrong. I am correct. X is wrong. And Y is correct. All right. That's probably the laziest and easiest way to look at it. 
um, uh, as so, almost systematically. There are lots of times when I think that somebody is wrong. Um, but I would never systematically say uh, sort of, you know, oh, the reason why we disagree is because they're wrong and I'm, and I'm right. So that means that I have an idea. Okay. So I have an idea that's, um, we'll call it truth double prime, lowercase t, truth double prime. That's my idea because I accidentally already had put, oh, I could have just added another, oops. Anyway, um, so the brain likes habits, likes to keep things simple. So, so you ask people, uh, hey, why do you, why do people disagree about this specific thought? Why do those people disagree with you? Okay, the answers are going to be um, because they're wrong, they don't understand, uh, or we have different points of view. If you want to legitimize a disagreement, we have different points of view, and we have different interpretive mechanisms, something like that. And then, or because oh well, there's no truth. We both have truth or something. Well, I definitely have truth, and 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 there's no point discussing it because there's no truth. Well, I say that you have truth. I'm not sure. Depends on how, how left-wing I am. So, um, all right. So if truth uh, prime, T prime, um, if it is supposed to be true, I think we're getting to the other cognitive dissonance thing. All right, wait, what did I do with him? All I did was this. All I did was this. And it worked, though, and he had said, he had asked if I was a philosopher, I had said I was, and he said that, uh, and then, uh, you know, we talked about my channel or something, and he said that he probably won't understand because he doesn't really follow in the philosophy and all that stuff, and he said, oh, no, 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 you will, I mean, his English comprehension isn't great, but, I, he, uh, according to him, but, uh, but the ideas are very, very, very simple, and then when I drew this out, I do think that he understood, um, and so I'm sorry if I am over complicating and if this helps you then just pause so basically here what we have is shared in french so this is the world that's world okay it's shared then we have uh oh brain okay and we have on top Oh no, maybe that I was gonna put my. Don't know. Anyway, and this is 99.9% .9 shared. We've all basically have the same brain. All right, so all the same interpretive mechanisms, reaction systems, basically. Um, and then especially when it comes to like beliefs and like intellectual things, it's all basically the same. Uh, we may have different, we have different patterns. Really, I mean, we basically there are like five different ways that you can like react to a thing in a relationship you know so we're basically all the same and uh and uh but and also those patterns are like those behaviors the speed at which you do this but ultimately we, we tend to basically agree <laughs> except we don't right that's what this video is about but i'm saying <laughs> if you take two people they will uh ultimately uh agree if they if they're open to that because because we basically are the same So brains are the same, world is the same. So basically here's what I said to him. If I'm uh, from this part of the world and uh, in response to this topic, uh, these 40% these of my interpretive mechanisms interacted or played a significant uh, role with each other to produce my idea belief thought whatever x uh and then if and then if this other guy he's from over here and he uses uh well not uses the stimulus slaps different mechanisms uh and there are different habits of how those mechanisms interact uh often we hear a subject and we already have our answer uh, and that's because we have that learned uh response but that learned response is based on interpretive mechanisms that we share but then which ones get triggered is going to determine what interpretation gets learned so so then we have uh two different we disagree now okay we disagree because although we had the same interpretive mechanisms 
different ones were activated. Uh, so I read... Also, actually, it's not even about interpretive mechanisms. It's also just about words. Oh, some people are religion. There is no Muslim or Christian brain that has, like, decided the Bible is, like, true. In any way that is different from the other person. Um, it is not like, oh, I'm Christian because I interpret things. I interpreted it. No. The person who reads the Quran is going to interpret it the same way as the person who reads the uh, Bible. There, the, It will evoke different things because the texts are different. There, there are different tones. There are different whatever. But a lot of the shit's the same also. I mean, in all religions, it's basically some... Some stuff that's pretty much all the same because we all have the same mechanisms. So I'm going to apply the exact same mechanisms to the Bible as you are to the Quran. Because since I'm American, everybody uh, who is not white and not American assumes that I am Christian. So and I didn't realize, holy shit. No, there I was looking at these other mottos. Uh, and I didn't realize, I know in God we trust is on our dollar bill. I didn't realize that was, a properly, that was really our motto. France, it's freedom, uh, equality, and uh, brotherhood. <laughs> and, and, you know, I mean, there are other, there are, there are religious countries that, of course, you know, Arab countries that talk about God. But everything else is like either pride or freedom or community. Jeez. Anyway. Uh, so where were we? Fuck! I really wanted this to be... I thought this was going to be simple. Because, because he got it! Alright, so anyway, so where were we? Uh, so my interpretive mechanisms, some of them, uh, are being triggered in a certain permutation by the Quran. You, probably the exact same, you're in a religious setting, there's this, oh, there's a lot of the same energy. So you've got basically the same interpretive mechanism, but reacting to a different thing. Then when we justify... It's just a question of words. And which is why Muslims love saying, no, we say that there's only one God. Stop disagreeing with us. There's a God. We even acknowledge that Jesus was a prophet. We're just saying that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was, is, the, is the last prophet. Or the, the most recent one, anyway. Uh, we're waiting for Arabs. God, this was supposed to be so quick. And I'm so disappointed because I was so excited about just having a quick five minute video on YouTube where I explain why we disagree. <sighs> Maybe I'll do another attempt, but this is the, this is the original. So, uh, so same uh, uh, interpretive mechanisms, different material. We can say now different points of view, which is of course why we should disagree at first. Then of course what comes together is, what, come, what happens is they come together and they go, oh yeah, we have different points of view. So, how do you even make, how does that make sense? You've asked absolutely no questions about your thoughts, do you? Because this whole idea of blaming disagreement and you are even legitimizing discord um, by, by, by saying that we have different points of view, what does that mean? Isn't the natural next step for me to go like this? Or for me to walk outside and stand next to the red car, see it from her point of view, see what I think? Oh, hey, we have the same interpretive mechanisms. Oh, indeed, yeah. Now, once an interpretation has been learned, of course, it's really just words. It's not even mechanisms. Once you have, okay, God, Jesus, Holy Trinity, uh, white people, it's true. Then every time you disagree, if you ever, I don't know whether that even happens, but if two people, if they have that disagreement, then he's just going to be using different words. Brown people, uh, Allah, Muhammad, but also Jesus, God, yes. Allah is God, yes. It's probably why, it's probably why there are so many Christians that will convert to Islam and maybe there's less the other way around because the Muslims say, hey, all your interpretation, fine, absolutely. Now here's what we need to add to it. It's, which makes, which makes being anything other than Muslim completely idiotic. I mean, if you're going to be religious, why the fuck would you not listen to the last prophet? It makes no sense. 
So you're gonna tell me, oh, because I didn't grow up with it or something? Yeah, but okay, so then you know that you're just not changing angles and just not looking. Uh, but what, you accept that, you know, the Muslims are right then? Uh, you can say there's no truth, that's their God, I have my God, they'll say no, it's the same God. You'll say, well, yeah, if you like, but yours is brown. Um, um, so we can do that, but nobody even really believes that. I mean, it just doesn't track either of these things. To say, talk about points of view or to say there's no truth, it just doesn't work. If I just push you a little bit, we see that this points of view thing is ridiculous. Fucking change your point of view and go find out what the truth is. Uh, and also, uh, no, we don't really have that different of points of view. Yeah, maybe you grew up with the Quran and I grew up with the Bible, but... Uh, also, uh, I've heard of the Quran and he's heard of the Bible. We know those things exist. So, no, I don't remember what the point was. Um, so, and then, uh, and then number three is of course the, the, the presumption that my interpretive mechanisms and my inter learned interpretations are correct. Uh, whereas other people's are not because somehow I got lucky with good interpretive mechanisms and they did not. And also I got so lucky that the good ones are slapped in the right combination to give me good ideas and other people uh, know. Actually, when I changed uh, the metaphor, it changed what I was saying. So if we say that by thinking that you are correct and other people are wrong, and it's as simple as that, uh, by thinking that um, you, uh, it's, uh, it's ridiculous because what are the chances that you would have these great interpretive mechanisms? But if you're saying that, okay, you're lucky because your good interpretive mechanisms got, sl got slapped in the right conditions uh, and so on by the right conditions, you heard the right information. Sometimes people talk about that, right? Getting educated, going to college, and the importance of knowledge and all this bullshit. Um, so if you're, okay, so if you're saying that, it, okay, so you don't say that it's your, that you're lucky. Oh, I went, I got a degree, I'm educated. And therefore that's why, um, that's why I'm right and they're wrong. Oh, it, oh hey, look at the, the, the relationship between doctorates who voted for Biden and, uh, and people who didn't finish high school who voted for Trump. Wow. Like, whoa. Um, and, uh. Yeah, so great. So that so that's another thing. Uh, in order to explain, uh, so maybe they're wrong. That was stupid, but we just say uh, it's just a difference of information. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, sorry. I'm glad you stayed though. Everybody else uh, either thought I was wrong and clicked off, uh, and I was wrong, or or they walked away with something bad. So actually, it's a question of information. So the three wrong answers are point of view, information, and there is no truth. Those are all the three wrong answers. In reality, and because that makes sense. If we're reasonable, then that's almost the only thing that makes sense, right? What could be going wrong here? So my perspective, my point of view, my information, what I was able to pull from, from this, uh, and then also uh, the other way to resolve the, the issue of why we disagree is to just say, oh, different truths. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, right. And so it's, oh, right. Oh, so that's what I should have done. Okay, so here's what we do. We say either the problem is the information or the problem is our perspective. So it's like a, like receiving maybe that. So we say, so, so, so points of view is, uh, one, information three, and then no truth two. Okay, these are our explanations for why we disagree. My point of view, how I perceive the things coming from here, my information, the things coming from here, and then finally, Oh, we say, oh, there is no here, actually. Uh, and then if you want to keep, if you want to keep, uh, if you want to keep, uh, they are wrong, then the final option would be, ah, there you go. So we said, this is the problem, information. This is the problem, perspective. This is the problem, that there is actually no source of information. 
or this is the problem. No, 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 there is a source of information. It's coming to me just fine. I'm perceiving it just fine. Uh, and my thing is true, but then how does this whole system work? Well, this thing must be false then. All right, those are your four, those are the four options. Do you notice anything about those four options? What did you notice? I mean, it's not very clearly drawn. So let me just try again to help you out or not to help you out, but to help me explain to give you a chance. Objective truth, my truth, his truth. My truth could be explained by the information I was able to gather about this and also my point of view. So you might be thinking, uh, oh, hey, but aren't those the same thing? And I think that's something I need to clarify. So the, uh, um, yes, a difference in point of view can explain a difference in information. Yes, absolutely. A uh, difference in information can cause a disagreement, a difference in point of view, absolutely, absolutely. But, what am I trying to say? A difference in information, uh, first of all, just like a point of view can be resolved. Uh, give me your information. Uh, so we shouldn't be legitimizing the, the, the disagreement for that reason or saying that the disagreement will always be that way because we have different information. What? Exchange. Um, uh, so I think I lost my train of thought. So we're just going to continue with this. Okay, so what we've said here is objective truth, my truth. Oh, I was going to explain the difference between... Okay, so um, yeah, I guess it kind of is the same thing. I guess you guys just like have different sort of ways of bullshitting why we disagree. So you can say points of view, different information, different experiences, different perspectives, and you just use a whole bunch of different information. And honestly, yeah, information, it is ultimately information. Point of, a point of view can give you information. If we have different information, then maybe we need to change the point of view to have other information or you can just fucking give it to me so I don't need to see for myself. You can just yell out, hey, there's a, a guy sitting in your vehicle. Um, so... Yeah, because if we looked at it as this is information, this part of the world that that we're seeing, okay? And then this is our perceptions. You can literally imagine an eye and then the part of the world that it's seeing. Uh, it, it's just two ends of the same thing. So really, inf the information is a property of this. This thing has information. Well, then that's what you need to understand. The information isn't a property of you. Okay, now your truth is based on some information that you have. Information that you think you got from here. And you're saying we have different information. So information, no, information is a pro So information is meant to be a property of here, and then we try to replicate it here. We try to get information from the world, at least that's the idea. So then we have some information there. Okay, so perception and information absolutely do uh explain uh, uh no it can be why two systems would disagree i would love if that was the only reason because that would be super easy oh you we, we have different information okay give me your information oh we have different perspectives okay show me show me show me where where do i where do i look from point hold on uh, hold on put your finger put your arm closer to my head and you can Put your head closer to my head, too. You think I should be able to see it now? Okay. So... So if we say information, we'll say 1%. Alright, so in reality, our points of view and the information that we have are two extremely easy to, to, to sort things and explain very little of our disagreements. They would explain all of our disagreements if we were somehow reasonable. If you put two AIs together um, and you give them two different perspectives, which means they have different information because of what they're seeing different things or they're experiencing different things. And so that's information. So it's really not even, points of view is nothing. Uh, it's really just, it comes down to information. Points of view is just the pre-step to information. 
so yeah, so if the issue is uh, information, then just fucking give it to me. And if I'm not able to, to validate that information or to verify that information because of my point of view, then give me the right point of view. And you may say there is no right point of view. Uh, yes, there is. There's one that sees. Uh, and there's other ones that are me. I, I, there's no, there is a right point of view for seeing, uh, for seeing if someone's in the driver's seat. Now, of course, yes, I can maybe find the right point of view here. I think, uh, I don't know what that mirror is showing me. Uh, and thank you. So you told me there's someone in the driver's seat. You gave me that possible information. Look, change my point of view. You fucking liar. You lied to me. You lied. All that, and there is no one there. I've been over here flipping out. So anyway, um, so if we were reasonable machines, and that would be the only thing, if two AIs disagreed with each other, it would be because of a difference. Not sure. It would be because of a difference in information. AIs today, that's not true. A reasonable AI, a perfect AI, the thing that we imagine ourselves to be, yes. The reason that we disagree is because we have different information. That's the only thing that makes sense. We, we see different parts of the world. And uh, so, of course, we come to different conclusions because there's different input, different output. And then nobody goes, hey, but what if I gave you my input? And you gave me, like, yours. Then would... Wouldn't we be able to sort that? Don't bother, because actually the problem is not that. Uh, the problem actually, so what I was gonna say is, whether uh, we notice anything about this, it's not very clear, uh, but uh, we, we tried the response, there is no truth. We tried the response, their truth is bad. We tried the response that um, they have different information and they have a different point of view. The truth is, is that uh, we basically, uh, I mean, the truth is we just have too much in common. We don't really have that different points of view. Like the reason that things are able to be so successful on TikTok is because like they're so relatable. It can be the dumbest fucking thing. And it's like an experience that we all have. And it's not like, oh, wow, that's so special that we have this experience in common. No, we, we, are, we are all the same. Uh, pretty much. Uh, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Obviously, you know, I'm certainly <laughs> unique. But, um, but, uh, but, you know, I have a, I will, we have a, we have, you know. Fuck. Just we're all the same. It's how movies work, right? Can you imagine if you were watching a movie and it was like, like there are some movies that like show you something that you can relate to and then other movies like don't? No. And you may tell me, oh, but they do it intentionally. You know, they want to tell a story from the other side of the world, but make it relatable. I don't fucking think so. I think it is relatable. I think the reason they made that story is because they found how relatable it is. They went and talked to someone who had just, you know, if you're from the West and from a very, you know, safe country in the West and a wealthy country in the West, uh, and then you watch a story about some poor person, or whatever, um, what, what, what's so supposed to be so moving about the experience is, oh my gosh, we have so much in common. We talk so much about our differences, but we have so much in common. And that's what this guy thought that I was saying. And yeah, I could say that. Because it is bullshit, our differences. They're just different labels on, our, on the same learned interpretation. Most people believe in God. Whether you call it this or that uh, doesn't change anything. It, uh, the human brain loves God. Okay? Uh, most people don't believe in God. Uh, they say they they were they say God is impossible and, uh, and, and they say it's impossible. You know why? Because humans love being religious. So whether you believe that there is a God or you believe that there isn't a God, humans love their conviction in being religious because we're all basically the same. The rarest people are going to be those people who uh, who don't believe there's a God, but also are like, I mean, yeah, sure, it could be. Could be a guy in the driver's seat. I look. Could be, though. Could be, though. Now, if I have a mannequin sitting in the driver's seat, and that woman is telling me, hey, there's someone in your driver's seat. And, uh, 
Ah, uh, I know why she thinks that. Now I'm going to be pretty confident in disagreeing with her. Uh, now it's because we have different information, right? Um, so I, anyway, I said that because I know why uh, you believe in God's, uh, and that's what gives me the confidence to to think the way that I do now. Um, before, when I didn't understand why you believed, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to take this much more seriously. And once I start understanding the, the mechanisms. So that's what we want to understand now, the mechanisms. So, uh, look, I think that I'm rushing finalizing my concept here. Uh, so let's just say I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Uh, but one thing that we can say is that we tried denying objective truth. We tried talking about this, the relationship to uh, truth. Okay, the one thing that we didn't do is question here. Okay, so although we have, well, I guess you, you could say that we did though, if you were talking about point of view, because that would be a property of that. God, I swear to God, this took 90 seconds and it was really good. I don't, maybe, or maybe it wasn't good. Maybe it just seemed good when I was saying it to him. But if you're bearing with me, it's because, you know, I got something good up here. Uh, I got some good interpretive mechanisms up here. And so so I probably, uh, so I don't know how long the video says it'll be, but I, I, I can probably tell you that uh, that the point that I'm trying to make, I have made by the end of the video. <laughs> and the point hopefully is true. <laughs> okay, where the fuck were we? Jesus, what time is it? Okay, so, uh, okay. In order to, I said to him, in order to resolve the cognitive dissonance of uh, people disagreeing about what reality is, we either say that there's multiple realities or, no, that's it actually, isn't it? Sometimes it's something, sometimes something we say when we're trying to like talk about how, it, oh, it's so okay that everybody has different opinions and it's such a great thing. We say, oh, but of course we have different points of view and different information. The only way actually though, to resolve the cognitive dis, fuck, that's what it is. Okay, no. So the cognitive dissonance is, please don't lose it. The cognitive dissonance is, uh, so, okay, so, okay, that's why, because I had written immediately, shared, okay, shared, if I were to tell you, okay, so these were minds, remember, these were minds, okay, so we share the same mind and the same world, okay, so if I told you that and you were to, for a moment, accept that, then you would find that there's a problem, because we disagree, and if we have the same minds in the same world, same input, same processing, should be the same output, okay? So the, the question is, why is there a different output? So sometimes we like to say different inputs, okay? But that doesn't hold for very long because then you can just exchange inputs, right? We can just talk, right? So then the what we did was we said, ah, oh, no, 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 but not possible for us to have the same inputs because it doesn't come from the same source, actually. There's this idea of, oh, yeah, that's my truth and, you know, that's real for me, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So if I had told you that the we, this world that I live in is the same as the world that you live in, and that the mind that I use in that, or that the mind that uh, perceives and processes that world is the same as your mind, then how can we disagree? So you either deny the world or you say that I'm wrong. Okay. Oh no, right. Or you say then, because if you're saying that I'm wrong, that means we don't share the same mechanisms. So either... You say that we have different interpretive mechanisms or we are looking at different things, which is bullshit because it's we're both looking at Earth and we both have uh, the same basic genome, which produces the same basic phenotype. Uh, you don't have people that are 12 feet tall. OK, uh, yes, maybe you have people that are like 16 inches tall, but uh, they don't see them walking around. Uh, they don't really survive. Uh, there's really only this, we, the genome is pretty, it is what it is. Not, it's not fixed, but I mean, it's, there may be a lot of people, but there's not that much difference. Okay. Um, so why is there difference? Why is there, there different cultures and different beliefs? And rather than denying that there is a central truth, 
rather than denying that we have the same interpretive mechanisms, I have another explanation for why we disagree. And it's a simple permutation of bad mechanisms. Basically, we all have bad mechanisms. That is important. And that's the first thing that we have to know, because if we think that we have good mechanisms, it's very difficult to understand how we can disagree. Well, that's when you're going to say, oh, well, we all have good mechanisms, we're reasonable, so it must be a difference in information. Okay, right. So, bad, uh, we all have bad mechanisms. So that's why we're all wrong in general about everything. Okay? I'm about 99% sure that I'm holding this thing here. Ask me a question about morality, politics, whatever. That's going to drop real quick to about 30%. Okay? Uh, that's because I have humility. Uh, so we have bad mechanisms. And then, so your guys were kind of right with your point of view thing. Uh, different slaps. And then say different words. All right, so, all right, so here's why we're wrong, because we have bad mechanisms. Here's why we're wrong in different ways, because different mechanisms can get triggered by sort of different situations. But usually, actually, we think we disagree, but we actually agree. But we just use different words. I think that's what I wanted to do. I didn't have the different words thing before, um, but... Um, but there we go. So that's the answer. I'll just put this at the beginning of the video. This is the answer. All right. So beginning of the video, this is the answer. Why we disagree? We disagree because we uh, because we're wrong. So first, why are we wrong? Okay, we are wrong because we have bad interpretive mechanisms. We all have the same bad interpretive mechanisms. But the reason that we are wrong in different ways is because either those interpretive mechanisms are are slapped in different ways. Slapped meaning activated. Uh, and they just, it, there's so many, there's thousands and thousands of these interpretive mechanisms. I mean, we've already identified, uh, what, 700 cognitive biases. Now, those aren't all going to interact in one situation. But of those 700, I'm going to guess that with any given belief, uh, when you justify it, I'm going to hear probably about 10 of those. Um, <laughs> And then, and then those are the bad mechanisms that we've already labeled and identified. Uh, in general, your, your mechanisms are just, are, are just not fucking good. Okay, so, um, so, so you've got a mechanism. And we've all got the same mechanisms, in-group, out-group bias, uh, I don't know, uh, correlation equals causation, uh, uh, a type 2 error is better than a type 1 error. Uh, we've got all, or maybe it's the other way around, we've got all these mechanisms. Um, and, uh, and yeah, part of the conditions of our life can change sort of which mechanism gets slapped, which is why I have to really highlight that we actually don't disagree that much. We don't, uh, in the U S there are two political parties, um, uh, and those are fully just like teams. If you had anyone, if they had for somehow were made to forget their team and you had them discuss a, a question, uh, there would, they would, people would probably just agree on the answer um, if it weren't framed in any kind of political way. But now we have our team badges. And, not now. We always have our team badges in, as long as political systems like that exist. Um, you, we don't disagree that much. We don't disagree that much, actually. We have these very different conclusions but that, those are so far removed from anything our brains could have actually handled producing. So here's what happened. Different interpretive mechanisms probably got slapped pretty much the same way. Different words, though, were put on it. Um, and it's like amazing, like, look at morality. Uh, oh, gosh, my mind's going nuts right now. Uh, okay, whatever. So different words, uh, which is why, you know, Muslims and... They're monotheistic Muslims and Christians. They're monotheistic uh, who believe in like a human-esque uh, God. Uh, uh, I already said mono. I already said theistic. Um, and, uh, and then these prophets. Uh, all the fucking same thing. Uh, but here's what happens. Um, these, the, the errors of these interpretations are compounded. There, there we go. That's what I'm trying to say. So we evolved to handle very, very simple questions. 
and not even really handle them well, not to find truth, but just to get an answer with which we'll survive, okay? Or with which most of the people who share our genes will survive. That, that's the idea. That's the, it's just the, really the bare minimum, uh, these mechanisms for trying to interpret the world. Um, it did not need to be any more than that. Um, it needed to be, hey, is that fruit poisonous? Hmm. He ate it and vomited. Nobody eat that. That's it. That's the discussion that we, that's the, those are the questions that we had to answer. Hey, are there going to be prey over there? It's cold right now. Actually, not even that. It's not even that logic. It's just, I just know that around this time, they're not things. I don't even know why. I just know they're not there. So really just the absolute bare minimum is what we needed uh, to survive. Oh, is my stomach hurting? Okay, I should either eat or stop eating. <laughs> That's all. Um, um, Fuck, that's all. So, um, and then what happens is those mechanisms for answering those little questions there, we try to use them for these really big questions. And so what happens is this mechanism that just deals with like poison food. So literally the part of the brain that deals with disgust is called the insula. It's inside the brain. I can't, don't want to point to it because it's, it's, it's inside. It's, um, and, uh, it, uh, it is involved in both, uh, it's involved in all kinds of disgust, moral disgust, as well as physical disgust. We also make the same face when we see something that is physically disgusting or something that we have attributed, uh, so like we see, I don't know, we see shit or something like that. That is the exact same face that we make when we see someone, uh, engage in a, a behavior that we consider immoral or even just one that's different uh, because of the mechanism of social proof that we define sort of what's right according to what is done. Uh, and so when we see somebody do something that's not done or even something that we, that we consider bad, uh, it's the, and we have no control over it, okay? So does that, does that prove to you in some way that you should keep listening? Does it, is it should it? <laughs> Uh, right, so our brains evolved to handle disgust. And then basically, disgust is basically that bad, don't do, don't be near. That's what disgust is for something physically. Don't eat it, don't use it, don't be near it, it's shit, you know, it's a dead body, whatever. That smell, bad, get away from it. Okay. And then basically, um, the brain started to add sort of uh, these behaviors to it. Uh, no, I, so I lied earlier when I said that that was it for the interpretive mechanisms. Most of our evolution, that was it. And for, so for most other species, that's it. Uh, we did evolve a lot of social mechanisms. Um, but, 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 the, but, but evolution, natural, or evolution is lazy, right? So the genome was like, oh, I already have all this stuff for staying away from like a rotten fruit or some rotten meat or something. Uh, so you just want me to put some behaviors in there too? Cool. Okay, cool. So it's just the same mechanisms. Uh, which is why, fuck, I'm so glad you stayed. Which is why it's called the contagion effect. Another mechanism. If you try to, there are experiments that have been done where they will auction off a piece of clothing. If that piece of clothing was worn by someone who we think of in a good way, a very famous person, then, you know, the value was high. And you might be thinking, oh yeah, because they're famous. Okay. And if it was sometimes also called the Hitler effect or something like that, or the Hitler's, oh, Hitler sweater, maybe. Uh, but anyway, if, if it's someone who's known for something bad, ooh, you're going to have the audience go like that. And the price will be much lower. But actually, an object from Hitler should be just as valuable. It should, I mean, it should be more valuable than anybody that comes to mind right now. To have uh, the pen that Hitler is, and you can say, but he used it for bad things. You don't give a shit. You don't really give a shit what the, the, the thing was used for. It's bullshit. It's an association. Wow, this famous person had that. Now, here's the thing. If I am morally disgusted by this famous person, then I'm going to stay away from their objects for the same reason that if I'm disgusted from this leper, 
I'm going to stay away from his objects. It's the exact same mechanisms. Oh, disease? Don't want to catch that. I'm going to stay away. Oh, he was immoral? Don't want to catch that. I'm going to stay away from his things. I'm never going to say anything good about him. Right? People always have to... Smart people who are, don't really get it always have to qualify whenever they say something nice about Hitler. It's a bullshit that he was a good leader. Uh, but I used to assume that he was a good leader as well. And, and whenever uh, I would be in a conversation with someone, we would agree about that. Um, you know, they'd be... I mean, I know he's bad, he's bad, he's bad, blah, blah, blah. It's compulsive. They can't... Uh, they're so disgusting. And it feels wrong to say... You know, to, if you said oh, Hitler had a beautiful singing voice... People are going to go, what the fuck are you doing? You just said that that pile of caca with all of that bacteria, you just brought that to our camp and said, like, this tastes good? The fuck? No, it's not reasonable. But it's the same interpretive mechanisms, okay? So. <sighs> so what happens is these interpretive mechanisms that were built for disease contagions are now we try to apply them to morality. Um, or not even we tried to, but they were adopted for uh, a very loose consideration of morality. It's not even really that we think about morality. We really just, things that are done are good, and things that are not done are bad. Um, and so, um, and so the errors get compounded, because first of all, these first original interpretive mechanisms weren't all that good. It was just good enough for us to still be kicking, Okay. And you, you ask yourself this big question, all these words involved, which are, and each word is going to trigger and send a, a, a little a little interpretive mechanism, because really, interpretive mechanisms are meant to deal with just a little bit of information and to quickly come to a conclusion. So now you ask this complicated question, there's a whole bunch of words in it, which remind the person, because the brain is complicated, of a whole bunch of other things. You're going to get a lot of different sort of interpretive mechanisms interacting, then their interaction is going to be influence, which is going to be influence. So, so there's more interaction, there's meta interaction, right? So that these two interpretive mechanisms interact for, to, to produce an idea, uh, a, a thought like, no. Uh, and then another interpretive mechanism before that even comes out, it responds to that. So that's the sum of this interaction, okay? Because maybe this one was saying no a lot. And this one was saying yes a little, and then the sum was no. Then that, then, then this one who's saying uh, yes a lot, uh, and this one who's saying uh, saying no a lot. Uh, well, now we then we have this other bad interpretive mechanism that's like settle the difference maybe or something, uh, responding to who knows what in the conversation uh, in order to sort of choose which uh, interpretive mechanism to allow to proceed, uh, or which idea to allow to proceed and come out of the mouth. Um, and so the errors get compounded. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So, I'm ready now to answer the question of why we disagree. Let's just, this is the beginning of the video. So I just worked through all this. You can watch that. Um, and now I'm ready to properly answer the question of why we disagree, I think. We do not disagree because, just because we have different points of view and different information. Uh, I wish that that was the only reason that we disagreed. And if that was the only um, thing, then that would be very easy to solve. Just exchange information. That's what books are for. That's what kind of, that's what language is for. Uh, that's what email is for. Uh, so um, so so that's great. Uh, in fact, uh, the real reason uh, that we disagree is stop. We actually don't really disagree. Um, often we uh, use different words, but we basically a lot of us believe basically the same couple of things, or or between the same couple of options. Um, um, because we're, we just, we evolved. Fuck. I got my genome, my brain from my parents who got it from, I mean, we just, fuck, there's not that much difference. I don't know how to, uh, all right. So, so we don't disagree. Oh, oh, you don't understand my frustration because I've been working on this for now. So we don't, we don't really disagree. Uh, we have the same interpretive mechanisms and we basically have the same conclusions, except we use different words and think that we disagree. Then what happens is once we are in this opposition, now, our brains start working to combat 
Okay, so so we started maybe with this disagreement, which we could have very easily just sorted with exchanging some information if we had any intellectual humility at all. But now it's, oh, I need to protect this idea or whatever. And so now I'm going to activate all these mechanisms, not intentionally, they're, they're, it's automatic. These mechanisms activate to give you bullshit to justify the bullshit. Okay, so... When we do disagree at first, uh, if we're reasonable, it would be because of points of view and information. We are not. Uh, so when we uh, disagree at first, but then when we continue to disagree, it's because we want to because we have this instinct to defend ourselves and so on and to, to impose what we think or whatever, um, or just this, this instinct, this tendency. It's not even this this desire to do it. It just happens. It's just the only things that come to your mind are justifications. And they don't sound bad to you, so you, you're thinking, no, not me, I am pretty... But, but, but yeah, kind of. But it just... Okay, so anyway. So when we do actually disagree, which is actually quite rare. Religion is not an example of where people disagree. Politics is not an example of where people disagree. Um, I mean, the reason for a lot of disagreements about social issues, uh, well, it's just, it's, it's about, yeah, it is about information, but there's no intellectual humility to exchange information. Uh, so it's like, oh, those people, uh, those people are like that and I hate them. And oh, those people are, uh, or, you know, whatever. Um, fuck, this is supposed to just be at the beginning. So, um, but I have to, I just fucked up. I just said something bad. Um... We don't disagree. Maybe I'll just do a video where I take some examples of things where you might say we disagree. And I would say, no, we don't really disagree. Or what would explain the disagreement is uh, either the fact that now we're trying to argue or uh, the fact that just was a different permutation of bad mechanisms that was slapped. Okay, there we go. So the reason that we are wrong, bad mechanisms. Uh, and then the reason... Um, that uh, we are wrong in different ways is because the bad mechanism that we have in common might interact differently um, just because of what the input was exactly and what you ate that day and whatever. So those might interact differently and because they're such bad mechanisms, they're gonna lead you to some really crazy ideas and then that other person's gonna have some really crazy ideas because it's just a bunch of mad, bad mechanisms that we're supposed to just like you know, judge whether maybe you could trust someone. We're not even good at that, right? We, so we use these different techniques, whatever. Anyway, uh, so that means I can't even publish that. Well, it's supposed to just be a five minute video. Oh, should I just do another one right now? All right, so what am I gonna say in the other video? So this is, this was not, that was not at the beginning, okay. Oh, but I did make it in an hour. Okay, so um, what am I gonna say to these people when I make my short little video? We do not disagree, but that I haven't, that's not convincing enough. That isn't, I haven't, even me, I'm not, I mean, oh, that doesn't mean we don't disagree. Of course we disagree, but no, we don't though. It's almost like all of our disagreeing is voluntary. Not intentional, but voluntary. I grew up in this country. This is the religious text I read. So this is what I believe. Um, and then once you're on a team, it's like, you don't do this literally, but literally this is what happens in your brain. Hey, so what do I believe? What's the social proof? Social proof is leaning towards what? What are we all saying here? That's it? Okay, that doesn't sound wrong to me. And of course it doesn't, because you guys came up with that. And I have the same interpretive mechanisms as you do. And I see you guys as friends and stuff. So I accept. Okay, that's what I believe. And then and then you just use your shitty interpretive mechanism to disagree. To, to come, to, to fight, to, dis to argue. Ah. I don't want to make a video just saying that actually we don't disagree. Because that would need a lot of explanation. All right, look, here's what you've learned today. Here's what we've learned today. One is that we don't really disagree. Are you convinced by that yet? 
it's just like we have different permutations of the same ideas um which is why sometimes people make a uh, on the left there's a lot of leftists that make fun of people on the right for being hypocritical because uh they are being immoral on, on in some regards while they talk about how important family and morality is and i don't mean like they do illegal things but i mean that they are they have immoral policies um intolerant policies um so you might be thinking, well, yeah, because they have different moral objectives. And that's actually where this all kind of came from. Oh, yeah, objectives. That's the other thing. We say that it's either objectives or information. It's either what you want or what you have. That's the reason that we disagree and that it's okay for us to disagree. In fact, no. It is what you do with what you have. And what was the other thing? Uh, what you want. And it is... Because uh, we all have the same fucking basic rules. We all have the same sense of morality. We all have the same sense of basically everything. But it's because of these bad mechanisms... There, if 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 a right if a if a person on the right and I use gay marriage a lot because that was a uh, a very important issue when I was a kid. So if 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 two people disagree, one person says, "Hey, uh, uh, people should uh, have equal uh, rights," and the other person saying, "No, that group shouldn't have uh, full rights." <laughs> It's such a stupid fucking conversation. All right, let's try to do it seriously. So if one person says, um, uh, oh, fucking hell, um, people should have the same rights. How else can you phrase that? Okay. Okay, let's write it how each side would phrase it. Well, let me do a different video. All right, so we're just picking up from, I don't know what I would have called the video, but uh, I was explaining about disagreeing and how it actually doesn't happen. All right, so people should have uh, same rights. Okay, so that's what a left would say of the left. Okay, uh, a right would say of the left. Um, well, no, we can't go too far because I was going to say anything is permissible or something. Uh, what, what, what would be a... The right might phrase, what would be something that they could accept as a phrasing beyond people should have the same rights? Um, all behaviors should be allowed, but I mean, that's, so I'm going to write this anyway, even though it's, I mean, crazy, but um, I'm going to write this anyway because, so here what we see is, if they if if they phrase the issue as uh oh yeah people on the left think we should just be out be do anything i should be able to marry my dog uh, there's no you know no it doesn't matter what's moral and what's right or really we should just be able to do anything you know even people that want to do awful things like marry other people um without being able to have a uh, frontal uh penetrative sex um so all uh okay and then if we, if we say that uh then we're not going to say that this is based on information nobody's ever said this the person hasn't heard anyone say this the person hasn't even imagined anyone really saying this maybe has imagined but really this is just a thing that comes out of their fucking mouth when they have to respond. So it's triggered by the response. They wouldn't have this premise in the beginning. In fact, this is the premise of all people. Um, what happens is we talk about this word and we talk about this word. Right? Slavery. Oh yeah, but what do you mean by people? 
all people in the world, pretty much, except for sociopaths, um, believe in... Oh, no, no, but there are people who believe in, like, a proper meritocracy thing. No, 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 but rights, it's not that they have the same thing, that they should have the same... People basically all believe this. <laughs> then when you've got someone who's identified as being on the... Who identifies as being on the right, who feels attacked by this, who feels like things are stolen from him in order to get this, and he really does feel that things are stolen, and you would too in his place because we have the same interpretive mechanisms. Well, now he needs to combat, which is just going to trigger, you know, bad justifications and stuff. So this is all after. So really, we just don't disagree. Like, if it weren't for the teams, nobody would disagree with this. We do have to define rights, of course, right? So, um, yeah, that you're basically, you have permission to, you're, 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 you're doing a thing as protected. We should all have the same possible actions protected. And then we can lose that protection uh, in, in, in any case where what we do hurts other people, right? So, yeah, so people should have the same rights. So to what actions are allowed and which ones are protected? I think that's a statement that any any human brain would agree with if, if they haven't been reminded sort of what team they're on or what the specific issue is. Uh, here's another one, for example. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, here's a good one. People should earn what they have. <laughs> well, this is a good one. Everybody has this voice. Everybody has this voice. Now, if you're on the left team, uh, this you're going to have this voice when you're on like, you know, I don't know, you're in class or something or you're at work or whatever. But all of a sudden, this is going to go silent as soon as you think about colored people <laughs> or as soon as you think about poor people. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to justify by saying that, uh, well, it's, be well, actually it's not, no, I mean, you're totally right that, uh, yeah, so this voice is correct, but the problem is, is that we don't have equal opportunities to earn what we could have. Uh, and also we don't have equal brains. Uh, so for instance, uh, if I were a part of a, of a, of a, uh, society, it would be me who'd be inventing everything, who'd be figuring everything out. I'm one in a thousand, okay? So I don't know how big my tribe is, but... And uh, I'm fine sharing everything. I mean, I, maybe I would want a couple favors or something, but everybody else should be taken care of, is the point. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's another thing. So this sentence here, everybody agrees with this, but um, then people who are team left, they, they go, oh, fuck you, and they start talking immediately about rights. They just abandon this. And also because these people are saying this, are assuming that we have equal opportunity, which is false. And they have that information that exists, that is available to them. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're playing for this team. So, so, so they ignore that. And the fact that they, uh, had, uh, they didn't earn what they have, <laughs> that they didn't start from the bottom up to earn what they have, that doesn't matter because uh, that's their team. So the answer to why we disagree is, is actually it's it's just tribal ship okay so here's okay you and i are asked a question we have two different answers why do we have two different answers um uh if we were totally reasonable it would it could only be because we have different information uh in reality it's because we've learned different answers probably <laughs> Um, maybe our interpretive mechanisms are slightly different, but, um, then if we continue, if we go back and forth, why is that happening? Why do I have all these things that I think I believe in that are opposed to all those things that you believe? That was all just tribe stuff. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, so, okay. So we have to take the question, why do we disagree? Why disagree? Okay, so why do we disagree? 
Okay. Um, one. Uh, uh, normal initial reason diff info. Uh, to actual initial reason uh, diff learned answers. Yeah, because if you ask two people a question that they have never considered, that doesn't relate to any question that they can give you an answer to, or they don't think that they're, they don't offer up your answer, they'll try. But if they can't, I bet you the two people will agree. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Because we have basically, I'm, I, I will bet you that 95% of the time, ask two people a question that they haven't considered, give them as much time as they want to consider their consider their responses. Uh, and I bet they will come up with the same answer. And if they don't come up with the same answer, okay, no, 60% of the time they will come up with the same answer. And then if they don't come up with the same answer, let them talk about it. <laughs> and if they like each other, or if they don't dislike each other and there's no dick swinging, there's no competition already, they will agree. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Ah, it's getting a lot clearer now, huh? For me, I mean. Okay. So the uh, a perfectly fine initial reason would be a diff different info. That's not what happens with the human brains. The actual initial reason is that they probably already thought of it, about or already learned an answer to a question that's kind of similar. Or that just was associated enough. It's just like a free association thing. You ask me that, boom. So, like, for instance, that's why this is going to depend on context, right? Saying this, everybody's going to agree with this. But in certain contexts, you have people that will spit on me for saying that this is what they believe. Except I promise you. Uh, no, given, eek, up, okay? Everybody would agree on this, okay? The right is going to say, stop talking to me about opportunities. And the left's going to say, stop talking to me about earning, okay? Um, and then both just start talking about other things. But everybody uh, would uh, uh, sort of agree with that. Now... No, that sounds very capitalist, individualist, Western. And the fact that I'm saying that everybody would agree on that, you must be thinking, oh, this fucking idiot has no idea the other ways of seeing things. Okay. And you're kind of right. Um, you're kind of right. Uh, because, yeah, as I look at it now, no, this is a very, very American thing. And there are some people that are never even going to ask this question. They're never even going to think about it. What do you mean earn and, and deserve and all that? We live together by, by sharing a space. We, I mean, we have to help each other. I mean, I'm still alive. It must mean thanks to you guys. And look, I'm just not even going to think about it like, right? So I don't think I meant it originally as like, you've earned like this amount of the pie. Right. Okay, there we go. Right, 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 right. So when I read it this way, I saw all of a sudden I was reading it as being very uh, capitalist and all that. No, no, no. But what I meant by the original sentence, people should earn what they have, is that, uh, well, people just basically need to contribute. So yes. So if uh, if you're if you're the joker who walks around the community and, and we all laugh, we're not going to calculate it or whatever. But, um, but you look, you are earning uh, what you have. And, I, and so I do think things are easier earned Ah, yes. Right, right. So that's why I wasn't saying it in that capitalist way at all, because for me, it, it, I don't think of it as individuals that are parts of a group. Uh, it's individuals that are contributing to a group, or it's uh, individuals that are uh, elements of a group, or that are even less individualist uh, sides of a group, or even less... Fuck, we're all just threads of a cloth. Okay. Now, if there is a cloth, no, but why even discuss this? Because this is a stupid thing. People should earn what they have because it actually doesn't even matter. Because all people feel an obligation to contribute. I know you don't believe me. 
yes, if you're not in the country that you grew up in, and if you are not given documents, and so you don't feel like this is your home, uh, then no, you, your desire maybe to work, your obligation towards the other people that you see every day, and that this place that you're building together, that it runs smoothly, well, you're not going to have that because you're in the land of the foreigner. Okay? So we all have a desire to, we all feel guilty if we don't contribute enough. Uh, we all, but it, the problem is, is that because our interpretive mechanism is so bad, we like think, oh, no, 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 but we don't have to contribute to this. Or, and also, undocumented people are treated such shit that, you know, I, I understand that, uh, that, that that obligation is not getting triggered. Um, 